All right, so we should follow him. Oh, the journal is so good. Look around, press, okay. I love the way that this moves. Camera controls, okay, let's see. Oh, I got two, hold on. We gotta, we gotta rebind that. Assuming I can, uh, controls, rebind. This binding is probably gonna look really, 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 really weird to you, which I fully understand, but I have a um, right and left toggle on my mouse and I have it bound to P and L, so I can easily um, move games around like that. Um, I use it generally in uh, these games to move the camera. What is L bound to? Encyclopedia. Okay, you don't you don't need to be bound to encyclopedia anymore. Is N available? Yes, N for encyclopedia, and then L for that. Apply. Ah, oh, beautiful. That's so smooth. Like that is seriously no hiccups or anything. Victory awaits. Oh, and how close can we get? Hey, girl. How you doing? Beautiful. Okay, I don't know where we're going now. Uh, okay, pause. Interactable objects. Some objects in the game can be interacted with in a special way. They are marked with specific icons, allowing some... Okay, we'll study, transfer to character, to neighbor. Okay. So, we have such an icon here. And then we've got just people. So, can we talk to them? If I see you raise your head again, I'll hand you over to the tech priest. Okay, it looks like somebody getting, somebody getting a yelling at. A massive conference table, obviously crafted from real wood, a resource of incredible value, aboard a void ship. And it looks like they're playing a game. Huh. Okay. Oh! Oh no! Am I in trouble if I touch buttons? And in comprehensible information is displayed on a large screen above the... Uh, you can make uh, mentions of unfamiliar systems, worlds... Okay, so if I touch that... What happens? Oh! Oh no. What happens if I touch this one? Am I am I effing things up for you? I am so sorry. But I see a button and I touch it. Okay. I probably I've probably touched enough buttons today then, is what we're hearing. Also, I think we're good. I was gonna say I might turn down like the music and then up just in case there's dialogue, but I don't know if I'm going to run into voice dialogue just yet. So if not, oh, wait, do we have quick save? Yeah, we have quick save. Yes. But also, also save. Yep. You can name them. You can name them. Right. Mm hmm. That's so good. That's like one of my favorite things is when games allow you to um change the like save name file as it's it's actually really handy uh master of whispers it's an emergency the esteemed lord captain's pet has broken the bolts and escaped its cage pet no don't kill the puppy animal thing i don't know it's not a puppy but blast it watch out okay kill the rogue trader's pet a wild xeno beast held in cages for amusement has escaped okay You've been ambushed. Ah, oh, combat tutorial, huh? Okay. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. All right, let's see what... The oh, he just done killed him. Movement control. All battles in the game are turn-based. On their turn, the character can move, attack, and use their abilities. Select a position within the selected area. Double click to move. Okay. Movement points, MP, determine how far a character can move on their turn. One MP corresponds to one cell on the battlefield. Moving diagonally is more costly. Every second cell takes away two MP. At the beginning of each turn, movement points are restored to their maximum value. The higher the character's agility, the more MP they get. Cool. So that, okay, see how like it tells you to. That's actually really handy. So it says that this is five. So this would be a straight interesting so it's not lined up okay perfect let's see what is she we have can i hit that from here Already done. thank you you missed girl how did you miss you still have action points after the shot you can use other abilities 
the characters that don't have an attack tag. When you're ready to end your turn, press space and or end turn button. Okay, so this is for warning. Psyker is able to see the possible outcomes. Okay. A complete prediction increases targets, dodge and parry. Excellent. And then what is this? Study. I probably should have done study enemy first, huh? Okay. Space, we're done. Bridge guard. Ooh. Yeah, for the glory. There we go. Done. Love it. I scarcely believe it on a day like that. He's still... Uh, what suspiciously poor timing for such an accident? A wild beast breaks free. How is it a wild beast if it was her pet? Hmm. Aren't that makes no that you know what? We're just gonna nod and smile. Uh, what is suspiciously poor timing for such an accident? A wild beast breaks free on the officer's deck at the exact same moment when the rogue trader and her heirs are gathered here. Without taking his eyes off the dead beast, he removes the Vox caster from his belt and speaks a few quick orders to the device and then he turns to you, which this is a piece of technology used to communicate over short distances or to record sound. I have blocked all passageways between the upper and lower sectors of the residential deck. If this is a deliberate attack, it should stop the culprits from advancing their plans. All right, let's go talk to Auntie Theodora. She's not, but we're going to call her that. Spread out. No one is allowed to enter the premises stations the lines on his forehead soften and his voice regains its usual courtesy i'm afraid i must remain here tessera for lady theodora's safety i have to oversee the execution of these orders personally i hope you will have no difficulty reaching the observation platform on your own it's just at the end of this corridor he gives you a curt bow okay pause so we've got the journal perfect mm -hmm. which is J. Love it. This journal is so nice. Now, if I hit... So, F recenters currently tab... Okay, so tab currently will show you um, all the different things that you can interact with. Beautiful. A uh, huge beast roars at you approaches. It. The tentacles in its mouth begin to move, oozing muddy saliva. Oh! Okay. Crew member heart. Okay, so these are all just... People that were hurt in the attack. Let's go. Let's go meet Auntie. <laughs> oh, this, wo this woman's going to get so annoyed with me. I can already tell. I can already tell literally everybody on this ship is going to get annoyed with us. I'm so here for that. I'm looking to see if anybody has like a name name. Because then I'm going to bug them and say hi. Okay, end of the plot. Here we go. Oh my goodness, I love her portrait. I absolutely adore her portrait. That is to that is so so top tier. That top tier. <laughs> so good. That is irrational, Lady Theodora, says the man dressed in peculiar garb, his voice tight with tension. His face, half of which is covered by sin skin, is twisted in a grimace of displeasure and disbelief. Assimilation into the trade structure would be political and economic suicide, practically an admission of heresy. The tall, gray-haired woman pins him with the, her gaze. Her cybernetic eye flashes crimson. Then suggest an alternative that will satisfy me. I have described the situation no worse than my seneschal could have done. Make a decision. What will you do? Aeon 6, Edelth Edelthrad. We're going to survey the room. Your first impression of Edelthrad, who appears to be about 30 years old, is of parchment-like skin stretched over a tightly bundled mass of sinew, implants, and bone, nervously twitching fingers, a face twisted by a slight tick, and the jerky movements are all signs of some illness or defect that has taken over his physical form. In stark contrast, Le uh, Theodora von Valenkis's features appear as if they were carved from marble, eternal and indestructible head raised high, proud posture, hands clasped casually behind her back. Everything seems to emphasize the difference in status between her and Edelthrod. Behind the two of them, you see two more men. One is a gray-haired officer of impeccable bearing who is studying the contents of his data slate. And a data slate... Uh, like okay, so basically it's a tablet. <laughs> the other is a behemoth bristling with holsters and... Baldrick's containing all manner of weapons. 
Our second candidate has joined us. The dry female voice and the powerful feeling of being watched force you to look at Theodora. The rogue trader is looking straight at you and her gaze, like herself, is predatory and oppressive. Tessera, approach. Give me your answer. Skill checks reflect your current level of knowledge and ability. Sometimes you can get additional information and dialogue if a passive check is successful. Well, I consider this hypothetical situation on Aeon 6, a new world on the fringes of the Coronis Expanse. High seismic activity, regular magma eruptions, uh, metamorphic rock deposits, prospects for large-scale mining. The world is populated by natives who worship some heretical underworld spirits that protect those who offer them sacrifices. Lights of fancy, you might say. But attempts to install ore extractors have failed for the second time. The mining crew sent to the planet's surface is simply vanish overnight. My question to you is, what would you do? Down with this poisoned treasure. Oh, what would you do? What would you do with this poisoned treasure? So, Xenos succeed is those spirits could well be natives named for dangerous aliens. I would first verify that it is indeed the case and if the population of Aeon 6 engages in Xeno worship, or we could do, there are ways to confirm whether what is happening is witchcraft or not. It might cost several psychers to do it, but it will give us the answer. You could also do these reports of spirits certainly sound like evidence of heresy. However, I would put my interest, uh, my interest first, no matter what means I would have to use, the riches would be mine must be purged for the good of the Imperium. I shall exterminate the heretic. I shall... No. I do not... <laughs> I think you can be like, I don't know. <laughs> That's so good. That's literally the best. Um, let's do... Hmm. I don't know. Somewhere between like these two... I I think that we should see if they're named for dangerous aliens. Theodora arches an eyebrow, reasonable and prudent. However, chasing after ethereal creatures may prove a rather long and fruitless endeavor. Edelthrad, Edel, Edelthrad scoffs. Apart from Xenos, an untrodden planet might be teeming with a myriad horrors that are far more dangerous and difficult to eradicate. I suspect that you, Tessera, are simply unaware of their existence. I gave a straight answer to a simple question, which, as I understand, was still more than you could do. Oh, oh, she would shut him up with that. Uh, we are both servants of the God Emperor and Lady Theodora. Does it become any one of our status to engage in petty feuds? Ooh, that one too. Oh, that one is so diplomatic. Uh, I find your tongue most disagreeable. You will kindly alter the manner in which you address me, or you will live to regret the consequence. Shut your mouth before I decide to shut it for... Oh, man. Like, you just do this one. Like, these are all so... um. I don't want to say like highborn kind of thing, but like you definitely like know your way around a situation kind of thing. And then number four is basically just like, I don't care about manners or anything. Just maybe you should go F off. And I love that we have that option. Um, or, yeah, so let's, let's, let's do, I like number two a lot. Ooh, we're both servants of the God Emperor and Lady Theodora. Um, does it become any one of our status to engage? Well, you know what? I gave a straight answer for a straight question, which is I understand was still more than you could do. The color drains from his face, which distorts his features further. Insolent, ignorant upstart. How dare you? Edelthrad. Theodore's tone renders him silent. I believe I gave you an assignment on this ship. Explain to me then why my senior congregator is still dawdling about the officer's deck instead of proceeding to the middle decks to commence the inspection of the compartments in his purview. I beg your forgiveness, Lady Theodora. Your presence has such a profound effect on me that I well forgot time. He bows ceremoniously and takes his leave without sparing you another look. <laughs> that was so good. That was everything. Her gaze follows him as he leaves. Then she turns to you. So, Tessera, why are you here? Uh, there are questions that I wish to have answered. You are direct. I approve, but you will have to wait. There is something I want you to understand first. My name is Theodora von Valenkis Massimo of Af Scaris. Af, is it Af instead of of, or is this some other kind of, like, is that part of the Warhammer universe? Um, like lore. I am a rogue trader and so like Af as like of Scaris or something else. I am a rogue trader in the service of God Emperor of Humanity and my rights and freedoms are vindicated by the most sacred relic, the Warrant of Trade, kept aboard this very vessel. 
Mine is the honor to venture into the darkness beyond the Imperium and carry humanity's light, where powers wicked and heretical reign and bode death and ruin to all. Interesting. So God Emperor, ruler of the Imperium, savior of all mankind, warrant of trade, it's the sacred relic, and a rogue trader. Imperial subject with a unique hereditary title. It is my decision alone to determine the fate of whatever I find past the bounds of the explored void. Every world I discover, along with all there is to find thereon. Resources, people, riches, mysteries, is mine by right. I command the millions of lives, rule over numerous planets, and possess fortunes that no planetary governor or commander could dream of amassing. And you are one of those with Von Vlenka's blood in their veins and a rightful claim to this inheritance when the hour comes. One of, does that mean there's other heirs? Naturally, some have yet to arrive on board, but you have had the pleasure of meeting one of them. Edelstrad may be somewhat disconcerted by the scale of responsibility that may potentially fall upon his shoulders. However, I have a good feeling about him as a candidate. Blood right alone is not enough to earn the high honor of becoming the bearer of a warrant of trade. Nonetheless, your abilities and talents may yet prove useful, if not for the role of Lord Captain than for that of their closest ally. Theodora sighs and looks away pensively for a brief moment. Alas, even those responsibilities can at times be too challenging for those who share your blood. Conrad Vogtvir served me for many years before he made his mistake. Mm -hmm. uh, did I hear correctly? The master, master of Whispers is related to you? His kinship to me is most distant as is yours. Nonetheless, he does bear the name, even if av he avoids using it publicly as such, strictly speaking, can be considered my heir. That door, however, is closed. His performance in his current role is satisfactory, or it used to be at least. Um, if you're satisfied with Edelthrad, then what sense is there in having this conversation? Why are you wasting your time on me? Theodora shakes his, her head. Impatience. I'm rather fond of impatient people. They are not as quick to resign themselves to circumstances and more eager to show initiative. Even if I do choose Edelthrad as my successor, I will still require a loyal advisor. The skills and knowledge you acquired in your former life may prove invaluable here on the Coronas Expanse. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Bad guys. Oh, everybody's dead. No. Auntie, watch out. <laughs> Why are we just... Okay. All right, you have been ambushed. Let's start. So, Auntie wants to kill them all. Oh, Abelard, nice. Oh, look at those hits. So beautiful, so nice. Okay, you. <gasps> you have a flamethrower. Be my friend. Where's he going? All right, so maybe we should cover. Use cover to avoid enemy attacks. Okay, so let's hide here. Oh, cool, it showed you. And then let's do one friendly creature within, okay, so, uh, ally, timely predictions of increase the targets, dodge and parry. Okay, let's do that for auntie. Now let's, I don't know if I want to do that. So this, this, in, okay. Reloads, okay, cool. So let's do, can I, what is my chance? So this one or this one, seven, two, okay. Suits my purposes. Girl, do not miss Tessera. <sighs> she, we're gonna get hit. I thought we hid well. No, they missed. Who are you trying to hit at? That's like Stormtrooper. Oh, good dodge. That was like Stormtrooper aim, but worse. Okay. Oh, no. Ah, he's hurt. Okay. Mort, don't die. I don't know who you are. All right, auntie. Oh, she just obliterated him. Hit him. Yeah, good job. And that. Ooh. Mort. Burn them all. Thank you. 
Uh, in a world full of deadly dangers, the help of your allies can save your life. Look closer. Your character has received a temporary positive effect from a companion. Hover over the small icon next to the portrait. Okay. Kill them all. The target of this ability gains plus 50 BS until the end. I know it's not like BS like bullshit, but that like literally that's where my brain just went. I'm sorry, but that's true. Okay. So that's good to know. So that's, I assume like these are all your buffs and stuff like that. All right. Let's try it. Can we hit once? Once, Tessera. No, she can't. Okay. Here, do you want to know your future? I do like it, though, that once you use your weapon, your turn isn't necessarily over. It's kind of nice. Are you going to hit? Oh, no. I gave you your future so you could dodge it, Mort. You missed. How did you miss? He was literally right in front of you. All right, auntie. Oh, he dodged it. Auntie, I'm so sorry. Oh! My gosh. The melee is so strong. Oh, so is fire. Melt scorching. Okay. Is there anybody left? Is it just you? Can I try this one more time? Please? Wait, hold on. You know what? Let's do this first. We're going to study you. Okay. Now you've studied the enemy, girl. Yeah! Okay, so we have to study first. Just know if you're not like that, that future plex isms. How did this happen? Your character has just landed a critical hit. Deals. Okay. Theodora waves her hand in a commanding gesture. Mort, take a team with you and clear a path to the transport line. Do not let a single horse in survive. The rogue trader turns her eyes to you. Didn't bat an eye when that scum burst into the deck. Hmm? Not bad. I've seen many an officer who panicked at the sight of combat on the upper decks. The false sense of security makes it that much more susceptible to harsh realities of warp transitions. She looks at the Vox in her hand. All you can hear is lifeless static. The incident with the beast on the officer's deck may be connected to what's transpiring now. Possibly. Quite likely. Theodora winces and flicks the switch on uh, her Vox a few times. We will investigate at a later time. Right now, we need to isolate the affected compartments and try to assess the situation. So what are your orders? She breaks eye contact with you. Mort has gone to clear the path. To, ahead to clear a path for us. If you want to make yourself useful, go after him and see if the arc militant requires aid. Be quick about it. Okay. So we're under attack. Oh, this is good. I'm concerned about the disruption in the communication with the navigator chamber. We should have already approached the translation point and proceeded into real space, but we haven't. Victory awaits. What is? Oh no, why is there combat, Mort? Where am I? I'm going down here. Uh, hey girl, what happens if you shoot? Target is too far. So if I, oh, we can't, okay. So where am I going now? Hold on. Upstairs and return yet to find out what has caused the delay. Is there a map where I can see? Is that... Is that where I'm supposed to go? Oh, right. Heretic cutthroats. Oh, no! I saw into the future! That kind of makes sense given who we are. But there is a future full of heretic cutthroats, girl. Girl, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. Okay, here we go. Oh, no! Everybody went kaboom. Okay, now we're here. Uh, did I? I was supposed to talk to somebody, wasn't I? This is why you're supposed to pay attention on the on the first triplex. Uh, officer's deck is under attack, so militant Mort has left to clear the way to the elevator leading to the open deck. The officer hasn't returned yet. Okay, so basically, I'm trying to find my good friend Mort. Mort, where'd you go? Okay. There's a breakthrough attempt. Crew to arms. Oh, uh, no. Where are all these people coming from, though? And they're just getting blown up like that. Oh, my gosh. All the carnage right now? Okay. This is not good. All right. Let's take a, let's take a crazy tour. What is that? Is that Mort? There's Mort. Oh, no! Friend with the... the I, yeah, that is Mort. Okay. Who's coming up from behind? 
Is that is that the master of whispers? Conrad uh Vogtvir lets out a sigh of relief upon seeing you. Thank you, Providence. You're alive and well. Always on time, eh? The moment we finish chasing the riffraff around the deck, you show up. Always just after fighting's done, you could set your chrono by it. He pointedly looks away from the arch militant to you. Mort, pull yourself together. The arch militant looks back at you. <laughs> what? Did the Lord Captain send you to shivy us along? We're all done here. I'll report right away. Mort pulls his box from his belt and hardly reports on the situation. Here's Auntie. The Master of Whispers, what is happening on my ship? The Voxnet is silent, the Vox Master is not responding, armed assailants have stormed the officer's deck, and my Arc Militant just destroyed several more heretics on the way here. Is this a severe case of warp madness? Have some of my crew lost their minds and forgotten who they are and who they serve? Report. I have not yet received word from the engineerium regarding any geller field failures but communications were already unstable half an hour ago and now they have ceased altogether whatever the cause may be the consequences are spreading fast i'm receiving scattered reports from the middle decks and the only vox casts from the lower base are one-way heretical gibberish he pauses that the madmen have already reached the officer's deck suggests that this is outrage was planned in advance perhaps this is an organized mutiny hmm Mutiny against the Emperor's anointed. Execute the traitors. We must provide immediate assistance to those still in the middle decks. Perhaps we, then we might stop this wave from spreading. If this is indeed a warp madness and the situation is dire. Mutiny. Who would attempt to mutiny here in the warp? Lunatics. Fools. Heretics. This ship houses thousands upon thousands of people. Pernicious thoughts and warp-induced delusions could have tainted any one of them. It's a difficult notion to accept, but such risks are inescapable. First... We have to confirm that the bridge and the navigator sanctum are secure, and I have the means to do both things at once. Her expression changes and her eyes flash ominously. Theodora looks at Vogdvir. Edelthrod, where is he? I must know if he is unharmed. The psyker aboard a ship that is potentially being assailed by the warp could pose a greater threat to himself and others than the whole army of madmen with improvised weapons. I tried to locate him, but the last thing I know is about move his movements um is that he arrived on the transitional deck eighteen. Blast it! Master whispers a fine edel thread immediately. Seneschal, locate Slas and the sister of battle. Both are to remain at my side. Arc militant with me, I must go to my study, and it appears we might have encountered heretics along the way. Tessera? She glances at you thoughtfully. If I may, Lord Captain, transitional deck eighteen is at the heart of the disturbance, and if our goal is to bring Edel Thrad back, I could use some support. After all, I'm not as adept at directly confronting enemies at, of the house as the esteemed Arc Militant and taking into consideration Edelthrad's psychic powers. Oh no, he just let, he, you took the, what? <sighs> then it's settled. Tessera, find Edelthrad and return here. Me? M me? I'm... Oh, fine. Uh, she points to the massive doors. Leads to the restricted compartments such as my personal chambers and the bridge. Do not let me down. I require you both. Do you understand? Uh, oh, here in any state. Uh, I shall do everything in my power. I cannot promise that I won't lose our dearest heir somewhere along the way. <laughs> oh, man. You can really be an ass if you want to be. I love every... So far, I know we've only done, like, a limited amount of um, reading through the dialogue and stuff. But so far, the RPG potential in this game is so big. Like, literally, you could make, like, four or five different characters already just from the start of this, and we haven't even, like, gotten into, like, the nitty-gritty. This is just the intro. Ah, oh, so good. Uh, in any state? What is that? Like, I don't... I don't... Like, I think... I think you know, girl. I think you know what that is. I'll do everything in my power. She hisses in fury. Not everything in your power. You will do as I say. I'll have your heads if you fail. Is that clear? Then move out. Mort, come. Oh, I said anything within my power. Girl. Girl, listen. If he dead, he dead. I'm not going to go save him for you. Like, I can't resurrect him from the dead unless I can. Do we have necromancy yet? I don't know. He gives you a nod. Are you ready to head to 18? It's a long walk and you don't even have proper gear. Um, I have a proposition since I'm the more important person here. You can go over the front and shield me potential threats. Uh, you had better not fail me. Lord Captain made it clear that relying on you is fraught with risk. No, I'll make do. Lead the way. 
Of course you will. He rummages in his pocket for something. Lady Theodora would never have someone she couldn't rely on as one of her heirs, but that is no longer relevant. With a pop and a sharp crackle, something hits you in the abdomen and you are consumed by unbearable gut-wrenching pain. What? What? <gasps> I promised you special destiny, Tessa. It's time to fulfill it. What? No, what's happening to us? Oh no. You're the betrayer? I knew it. We're too smooth, master of whispers. 